Hey guys, so uh, we're down here at the gun range, and um, for those of you who went with me to elementary, junior high, and uh, high school, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are probably aware of this. We recently lost one of our good friends, Travis Burns, from a drunk driving incident. So I haven't been able to go down to the range for a little while, but I figured I'm going to make a tribute video, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. So. We're going to go down to the range, we're going to shoot some really awesome guns, and by doing this, let's forever preserve its memory, and let's embody its spirit while we're here. So, let's talk about the guns, and let's get shooting. Alright guys, so, what are about? This is my Tavor. I like to call it, I'm not going to go into the details because I don't want to see any arguments going on. But let's talk about this gun. If you get a closer look right here, you can obviously tell that this is a bullet rifle. And uh, you really got to give a lot of credit to the Israeli story. I mean, it's very short and compact. It's a very like versatile. So if, it, if you ever get yourself in like a really tight corner or a really tight situation, say a bus or um, maybe an aircraft, and you got like maneuver rounds. This is definitely the gun to do. It shoots a uh, 5.56 uh, by 45 millimeter round. It is fed from the back, which is really cool. So, which obviously lets you load it up, you load it through the back, and then you're pretty much good to go. 10 rounds per magazine because we're obviously in the case of California. But, we're going to go ahead so to load it up, you kind of have to give it a good five, five, 5.56 rounds, they're actually pretty nice. Very good for armor piercing. As usual, since we're here in California, unless you have a, the proper uh, paperwork, you can't have over 10 rounds. Kind of but, don't mind. Yeah. 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 The barrel and the scope is you kind of have to just a little higher if you want to like shoot it. For now, we're just gonna we're just gonna throw a few rounds in here. We're gonna see how well we can do it. How much damage we can do. Okay, we're ready to make some noise. Let's start with five rounds first and let's see how much damage we can. That was just a great shot right here, so that's not going to work. Yeah, you only need one in the head like that, so you're good. <laughs> good shots. Let's try to go 20, 20 yards. had one in the, the head, two in the mouth, and two on the shoulder. Let's see. Oh, we got like, oh man, like all the other five went in the head. 
was a, that was a great shot. Oh, you got some in the chest, too. Two right there. Yeah, those are some great shots. What we like to call the necktie. This is one nose, but no one's going to be able to sing. <laughs> That's great. So, now that we're very familiar with the Tabor, let's go ahead and uh, let's see how the other guys do. Yeah, it's ready to go, right? It's good to go. All you got to do is just hit this little switch forward, and okay. you're good. Okay. Why don't you start? Uh, oh, you want to do the recording? Or... Okay. Don't worry, it's all going to be on YouTube. I'll record it with his phone sure. so he can have the video. Video for my girl. <laughs> it's recording, dude. Alright. Uh, camera's on it. Good. Shots. Nice shots. Uh, nice sounding shots, anyways. Let's see how you did. Yeah, let's see how I did. Twisted twist. Oh, there. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I nicked his head. That's okay. Yeah, he First time firing again. What's the What's seventh What's really good bullet? is that your pattern is actually really good. So. Yeah. My cluster. Absolutely. Seventh one is. I don't know where that was. Didn't miss one up here. Oh, no. oh. How did that get up there? Well. All right, so that was six. Oh, you want to do uh, what? You want to do yours now, right? Oh, I can do three. Is that what you're Whichever one you want to do. Okay, uh, I'd like to do ten actually. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Recording. Ready? Yeah. How many shots that was? I think two or three. What? Two, two, three. Three. The thing two, two or three, three left. I'll do two more and then uh give them one or something. Okay, I think there's one left for Steven. Just try it anyway. I'll just unload it. Alrighty. Alright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you would call a 2020 vision. That's, that's not bad, my friend. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, so we're down to our last 10 rounds on the uh, board. So let's see how much. Had a few malfunctions. Not that bad. Let's go home. Oh boy. That's not bad at all. Oh, and we got some gut shots too. Looking good, my man. Looking good. That guy's a corpse. So, oh, the Tabor, it's actually, it's a very nice, 
I gotta give it to the Israeli, uh, to the Israelis for bringing this kind of a weapon. Um, it's very compact, there's not a lot of recoil to it, so, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure this weapon is eventually going to be like, SWAT by, um, a few of those guys out there. So, Okay, second gun we're going to shoot. This is the Benelli M4 Super 90. As you can tell, you can see right here, it's a semi-automatic shotgun. It's got, a lot of, it's got a lot of power to this thing. And, as of right now, it's used by the Marines, the Navy SEALs, the SWAT, just about anybody out So, before we get started, you got any questions for us? Um, I'm good to go on this. Oh, okay. So, let's go. Oh, we got one. Awesome. So, you can see that this is a shot round right here. Man, these things are pretty big. I mean, you could kill it. Or maybe you could probably kill like a moose. Oh, yeah. So, let's get it. Now, I'm just going to throw one in there. So, throw them on in there. This particular shotgun was also used on Season 3 of Top Shot, and uh, Season 4 of Top Shot for that. Staring magazine capacity is about 5 rounds. 4 in the barrel, 1 in the chamber. Go and... What? Uh, at least... You gotta love them Italians. This is like the Ferrari or the Lamborghini of shotguns. So, I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, dude. Just ridiculous. Oh, brother. Wow. And that's exactly what we're talking about right now. We're not talking about a bird shot where they're getting like little. We're talking about something that's a little. This is for home defense and like. Say there's an intruder, or um, if you got like uh, well, an animal that you just want to take home for lunch or medicine, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in season pretty soon. This is definitely the right thing to do. It. So, yeah, look at that bug shot right there. The guy is not going to be feeling good after this. Yeah, you just shot him all in the chest. That's what it looks like. You can tell that it was, you know... Oh, those were from the, uh... Yeah, the you tabor. can tell that like, these are, you know, very circular, kind of very clean. Those so are clean. Like... Not so clean down here. <laughs> and if that's not bad enough... Oh, boy. Take your time. Breathe. I'm not sure on why I'm like so careful. If you don't want too much recoil, just lean into it. There you go. And fire away. Oh boy. Yeah, buddy. That is. That's got a kick, man. It's got some kick behind it. No, no. You All know right. what's got a lot of kick? Try shooting slugs. Oh, yeah. That has a relative kick. 
Jesus. He doesn't have a jawbone anymore. He dislocated his shoulder yeah. and uh, yeah. Man, he has no sternum left, no lungs left. They're all gone. He's not breathing, that's for sure. Not from lack of trying, though. <laughs> All right, this is Derek's juice. turn. Yeah, buddy. Ready? I'm ready. Just lean into it. Take your time. And just fire. Did you like it? Oh, boy. Did I like it? What's not to like? Oh. Oh boy. Nothing left. I'm off for you. <laughs> got like a That's what we like to call in Oh yes. Alright, let's go ahead. Walk oh, 17. That's okay, she'll live. He won't, he won't though. He's a. Uh, yeah. He won't. She'll be fine. She'll thank you later. <laughs> So overall, the Benelli M4 Super 90 and the Tabor, they were both really good guns. I had a great time over here at the range. and uh, So overall, I think, I'm pretty sure my buddy Travis Burns would be more than happy to, uh, to know that I did this for him. And the message I want to get to each and every one of you guys is don't drink and drive at the same time. You can drink, you can drive, just don't, do, just don't do the two together. You're not just destroying your life, you're destroying other people's lives as well. If any of you guys ever want to do like a trip video like this, uh, there are two gun ranges that I'm very familiar with, or if any of you guys are in that area, I'll have the uh, addresses uploaded in the description, like in the video. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And whatever happens, always remember Travis Burns. Thank you. If I ever leave this world alive I'll well, thank you for the things you did in my life If I ever leave this world alive I'll come back down and sit beside your feet tonight Wherever I am, you'll always be More than just a memory If I sadness that I left behind If I ever leave this world alive The madness that you feel will soon subside 
Says, I'm okay. 